Okay guys, here we have the Hill Cam Toyota Hilux Bush Camper. Um, the other Bush Camper model in the fleet, so more complete camper. This vehicle is suitable for up to four people, although we recommend two adults, two kids, rather than four adults. Um, the second bed put on the small side and it would become a little cramped up with four adults. So more of a family vehicle, but also an excellent vehicle just for two people. So it's based on the Toyota Hilux double cab chassis, turbo diesel automatic. Um, fantastic vehicle all around, very capable four wheel drive capabilities. And this camper is light enough that it has not negatively affected the mobility of the vehicle or the 4x4 capabilities. So low range, rear diff lock, upgraded tyres, very long fuel range with 150 litres of fuel. Um, so a good solid vehicle for remote area travel. This is in the day spec, so when you're driving the campers all fold up. We're going to now open up and then just take you through the vehicle um, with all the different features it's got and to show you more the night spec when you'd be sleeping in the vehicle or living out of it. Okay, so here we have the Hilux Bush Camper, the heel cam in night mode when you're camping. So tents, awnings, all the equipment out as if you were living out of the vehicle and in the evening. So it's got the pop-up tent, very easy to put up. Um, equipped for four, so you'll see the four chairs. Um, that's two adults and two kids recommended. 270 degree awning off the back. Now we'll just go a little closer and look at all the features of this vehicle. As we come up here, which pulls out, so there's a little um, door that opens off the side of the vehicle here and you've got your cooking area. So here's a double cooker plate here, double stove top. Um, the gas, just it's with a push lock fitting which just pushes into that gas pipe there and then this connection would then go onto your gas cylinder which sits at the back of the vehicle. There's two gas cylinders so you've got one spare. Um, you know, once again, when you're getting four via people or allowing for four packs, there is a slight compromise on space. You won't have as much space as, say, in the Land Cruiser Bush Camper, which is for two people specifically. Um, but it all works and pretty practical. Over here, in the kitchen, you've got this little drawer which opens. You can pack a lot of your food stuff in there. There's still a bit of extra space. This is your kitchen flap. There is a bit of extra space in here for more food and then there's space inside the vehicle. 50 litre fridge as well on this vehicle. So all your cutlery, plates, pots, pans, everything in the kitchen. So your whole sort of kitchen and food storage can almost be outside of the vehicle and easy to access. Um, the fridge just opens here, the lid and it's running. There's two extra batteries in this vehicle. It has got solar power as well, and then off the side here, you've got 220 volt connection. If you're in a campsite with 220 volt, you can connect it to the mains, but with the two batteries and solar and direct charging from alternator to the back batteries as well as the front, you've got quite a lot of power on this vehicle, so you don't require the 220 under any normal circumstances. Um, and it's also got an inverter so you know if you need to run 220 volt while well, there isn't power on the campsite it's still got the inverter so that you can run you know devices like you know camera chargers um, laptops or anything you need 220 volt for right coming around the side of the vehicle nice little feature on this vehicle is this little aluminium square tube sort of rack which just fits in the back of the vehicle very easy to use and then you've got a wash station here with a basin and your drying rack and you can see there's nothing underneath it so it's very effective found this very useful when camping and your tap right there so you've got a water pump and you've got an 80 litre water tank in this vehicle also a nice lot of water which you can carry with you we're going to go into the vehicle now so you'll see similar to the Land Cruiser Bush Camper, this has also got wardrobe space or cupboards of the side. So you can unpack and necessarily have to live out of your bags. And again, rather have a soft bag so you can fold it up in a hard suitcase. 
when renting this vehicle. Now we come to the bottom bed. There's a little compartment that folds off the side and you've actually got a nice big bed here. 1.4 wide, 1.9 long. And this is generally where the parents would sleep or adults would sleep off the bottom here. Um, nice airflow, lights, um, pretty much, you know, nice thick mattress as well, as you can see here. So a very comfortable bed, which is a, you know, a bonus when camping. Um, then just quickly going up there, you can see the blue thing there, that's the inverter we spoke of, and the double plug point. Um, just coming down here, that's your stainless steel water tank there. And that whole area is where the fridge and the kitchen stows away when the vehicle is mobile. So now just coming into the back of the vehicle, coming upstairs, you've got your second bed off the pop-up tent. This bed's slightly smaller, 1.8 by 1.3. So you're pref preferable for kids, um, third adults fine on there. Again, also a nice thick mattress, great airflow. Very comfortable outdoor camper this, you've got lights inside that run off the batteries, so very practical and easy to use. If we come across and down here again, there's the electronics. So there you have all your fuses and your trip switches, so you can see you can isolate the mains, fridge, um, pump because this vehicle's got a water pump that you get better water pressure not relying on gravity feed external plugs lights everything's there and 220 volts charger your breaker circuit for that mains earth leakage and charger and a couple of nice handy usb connection there and two pin plug so all of those electrics and then get a better view of that downstairs bed again Right, so that's your full cabin when it's up with the two beds, wardrobe space. You can stand, can get changed in this vehicle. Nice little camper. And then again, you've got the 270 degree awning. So you've got shade at the back. If it's raining, you've got cover. Second spare wheel here off the back. You can see the upgraded tires, all terrain tires, light truck. So three ply sidewall. And then underneath you've got a second spare wheel there, so you've got, still got your two spares. Just to come around this side, you'll see how the bed folds off the side, and then you get another view of your extra tent. Um, this vehicle's also got a roof rack. Um, there's the spade off the side and where you fill your water. Another plug connection there. Um, that roof rack can be handy, you can actually get jerry cans on there, even though it's got 150 litres, so probably more fuel than you'll need. You can still put jerry cans, there's rubber sandal landers on there at the moment, you can store firewood, so that's some extra carrying space up there. Otherwise, yeah, on the Hilux, so yes, that's the Bush Camper, a really nice, luxurious camper this.